got married um, in 2004, and um, you know we waited a little bit to start a family. Um, we struggled with um, infertility for about five years. Uh, finally, got to a point where the doctor suggested that we go through IVF. You know, we knew the chances with IVF that there could be multiples. If you know, depending on how many embryos, the doctor decided to place two embryos, and there was, um, I think, a two percent chance that. Uh, they would one would split or they would split and um, sure enough we went for our ultrasound at seven weeks there was three there was three babies wow three babies like at once you know we've been trying for so long and you know we would joke that we've caught up to all our friends now just in one shot <laughs> shock <laughs> that would be the best word to describe it I guess the doctor came in and he said uh, you might want to call Matt up in Cleveland and tell him to meet you at the hospital because we're taking these babies. I'm, when I tell you, we left the doctor's office and I was in surgery within an hour and a half from leaving his office. And I think Matt walked in five minutes before they were ready to take, but as soon as he walked in, we, they wheeled me to surgery, so. Unusual in there, that's for sure, with each child with their own doctor and nurses, it was a packed room. So I saw each baby as they were born, they brought them over to me and then they whisked them away. When they you know, realized that they did have the brain bleeds and just, you know, not knowing what to expect. Um, and they were all administered the surfactant, um, which is, you know, which was is product of research from the March of Dimes, so thank God for that. I mean, I was just wanted to hear them cry, and as soon as I heard them cry, I was, you just think, okay, they're, they're all right. They cried, you know? So, <laughs> I went... Um, you know, obviously, then I go back to the room for recovery, and I'm just depending on Matt to bring me information on how they were doing, and, you know, it was just hard not to be able to see them right away. As well as can be expected, I guess, just relaying info and making sure I could check everything I could, and, uh, you know, taking pictures and bringing them back up to her on the phone and whatnot. Everything's racing through your mind at that point, you know seeing all three of them, you know, under the lights in the incubators and just wondering what's going on, you know, they're checking oxygen levels, doing all that stuff. The boys were hooked up to the ventilators, you know, just a lot of questions and unknowns. I think as soon as I saw them, I just felt in my heart, like, that they were going to be okay. You know, that they were going to make it. How long were you in the NICU? Uh, we were in the NICU for, um, Morgan was 68 days. Matthew was 73 days and Michael was 77 days. You know, you, I just was, I just wanted them to, to make it, to, to live, you know? So I didn't know anything else. I just knew I just wanted them to live. I didn't know anything of the outcomes of, of their bleeds or anything. And, um, you know, shortly after we discovered the brain bleeds, um, Michael developed hydrocephalus. They would just go in and drain the fluid every day off of his brain. Yeah, it was rough, you know, I have three kids and, and you don't really get to see them, hoping they're going to be okay, you know, hoping the ultimate outcome is they're healthy and alive. You know, when we had Morgan and Matthew both home, we really missed Michael, you know, it was just like all our dreams came true. Um, a long wait. <laughs> it was a long wait, but it was, uh, you know, we couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Morgan, um, she, like from the beginning, she was definitely um, the least affected, although the smallest, like I said, she really didn't have, she had some of the common preemie problems, but not many of them, and she pretty much sailed right through. She was feisty, a fighter, she was just, you know, a strong little girl. And um, Michael, I mean, he's just, I just consider him a miracle. They're all miracles, but he, you know, when you, he had a grade three and grade four brain bleed, and um, that's, you know, very, um, when you look it up, you know, you see, of course, I Googled that, and you see the most awful things, and the fact that today he's walking. The day he started to walk, they were, it was just in the beginning of the summer, and um, we were all in the room with him and he's doing it and Morgan and Matthew were cheering and clapping and like go Mikey go and and thank God I got some of it on film it was just the cutest thing I ever saw. What are your hopes for your kids? Uh, same wishes I would think any parent 
for them to grow up, be healthy, and be the best they can be. And, and to be happy and just follow their dreams. And, um, you know, they're so loving. They're like, which is just, you know, just touches your heart so much to see how they are. But I know everyone around them loves them so much and they see so much love, you know. So I just wish for them to, to be as happy as they can be. Thank, Thank you, you March of Dimes, Dimes, for everything you've done for our children. Thank you, March of Dimes.